it's Beth from Sweetheart's Hair Design and today I'm going to show you how to do a Dutch braid. So I actually watched Heather Chapman on Periscope show how to hold the strands in your hands. So I'm going to show you that today. So it'll only take two minutes, so let's get started. Okay, so to start the style, I'm only going to take big sections so it doesn't take long. So you can take smaller sections if you want, but I'm going to take big chunky ones. So you just want to take the top section of hair and you're going to divide that section into three. So I just put my two fingers through the hair into the middle like that. So it repeats all the way down this braid does. So I want you to grab the left section in your fist. So the whole section in your hand and then grab that one in between these two fingers here. And the third section, again, you're going to grab with your fist. And this is your starting point on your braid. So you've got that section in your fist like that. You're going to take two fingers and take it underneath the middle. And then you're going to grab hold of the other outside section. Okay. You're then going to take the middle section and you're going to put it in your pincers. So you've got all three sections in your hand there. You've got this outside section going through the middle. You've got this outside section going through these two fingers and this middle section is in your pincers. Okay, so that's one stitch of the braid. You're not going to add any hair in yet. You're then going to take that middle section and again make that fist. So you've made the fist again. Take the two fingers, go underneath your new middle one, grab hold of the other outside one and then you're going to put that one into your pincers like that and at this point you're going to start adding in hair so I'm just going to take a section of hair I'm going to take a fairly big section give it a little smooth out with my fingers you're going to add it into the pincers there okay so you've added that into your outside section you're then going to take those combined sections into that fist again okay two fingers underneath that middle section here so underneath grab it and then you're going to place the middle section it's now coming to the outside and it's going to be the pincer again okay so again you're going to add in hair but this time from this side of the head so just grab a nice big chunk when you're practicing i definitely keep the chunks nice and big i wouldn't try and make it too fine so you're going to add that section into the pincer hand again okay and it's really good to learn how to do it this way because as you can see this hand's totally free to like move the hair around brush it if i need to i've got all three sections in my right hand so at this point you're going to re-grab hold of this section the two bits that are together like that you're going to grab hold of it in your fist like that two fingers go underneath that middle section underneath grab that outside, bring it to the middle and the middle one becomes your new right outside pincer. Okay, so grab another section of hair. I'll show you one more stitch of this. Add it into your pincer like that and then you're going to grab that with your fist, two sections together. You're going to go underneath that middle section and you see how tight the braid can be kept doing it this way. I mean, I'm doing it fairly slack, but you can really grip onto the hair. It doesn't move anywhere. Put this new outside section into your pincer. And again, you're ready to add your hair in. So once you get down to the bottom, you're taking the last section again underneath with those two fingers and try and really gather that hair in to make sure that it doesn't go all sort of saggy at the neckline there you want it to remain nice and tight so you're not adding in hair at this point so you are grabbing under with your two fingers there we go once you've finished the braid i'm just going to put a little elastic in i'm going to be selling these soon on my website sweetheart's hair design because they're really good quality these ones are they just don't seem to snap at all now if you were doing this braid on a child, I'd probably say to you just to leave it like that because it's nice and tight, it's going to stay in all day. 
But if you're doing it on an adult, I would be tempted to sort of take my comb and really just start to rough that braid up a bit. And also what I sometimes like to do is, because you can see the little hair tie there, you don't always want to put a bow in an adult. So you can just take a small section of hair and then you just wrap it round the hair tie. And then you just want to hold that little piece of hair around the back, get another little elastic, pinch it with your fingers like that. And then you want the hair, to, the new elastic to sit right underneath that bit of hair that you wrapped around. Wrap it around a few times. And then what you do is you just push it up like that and then just use your fingers. And as you can see, that piece of hair is completely covered. So that's the Dutch braid finished. So you can keep it nice and tight for a child or you can sort of mess and pull at it for an adult. So thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Sweetheart's Hair Design. And I'm also on Instagram at Sweetheart's Hair Design. Thank you, bye.